The activation of CD4 cells is similar uh, to the activation of CD8 cells. The biggest difference is the class of MHC proteins involved. CD4 cells require class 2, whereas CD8 cells require class 1. Remember that the CD4 cells are our helper T cells and the CD8 cells are our cytotoxic, regulatory, and uh, memory C Ts. Co-stimulation is required for activation of both the CD8 and the CD4 cells. It's very similar in that we're going to need an MHC molecule recognition protein and we're going to need an antigen binding protein. Once activation occurs, the T cells rapidly divide going through that clonal expansion process that I mentioned, similar to the CD8 cells. And during the expansion process, these cells differentiate into active helper T cells or memory cells. So these are a different type of T memory cells, but these are very critical memory cells. They, uh, again, their job is to live long and prosper, if you will, and then they are going to respond quickly the next time we are infected by the same agent. Active helper T cells secrete cytokines. That's their main job, and those cytokines stimulate its cell-mediated responses as well as antibody-mediated immunity. The role in activation of B cells is especially important to our immune system. Without helper Ts, B cells don't become completely active, and we have a handicapped immune system. As I've mentioned previously, this is the cell that is wiped out with HIV and uh, so you can kind of see that this is going to cause a snowball effect that if we remove the helper T cells we're going to eliminate the source of these cytokines which stimulates the B, the T and the macrophages so this is going to stimulate both the uh, cytotoxic T's so I'll do a C for cytotoxic as well as the macrophages um, and I'm just going to leave it as the M macro maybe I'll try to write that macro there we go that's the best I can do and so we by losing the helper T cells we're going to lose those cytotoxic T and the macrophage efficiencies it's not the cells don't die they can still do their job but uh, they are going to um, stop functioning as well and then the B cells simply do not get activated to produce the antibodies. Here we see a closer look at the process of T cell CD4 activation. We're going to use these professional antigen presenting cells and these are your macrophages and they're going to be also dendritic cells which if you'll remember um, the dendritic cells are in fact macrophages that have differentiated and specialized macrophages there we go now you'll remember that these macrophages are on the hunt for pathogens once they phagocytose these pathogens they break them apart to harvest foreign antigens and they take those foreign antigens and they display them on the surface of the MHC class 2 these are like I like to think of these guys as trophy hunters they're out searching they're destroying and then they're taking, um, <laughs> forgive the grim analogy, but they're taking the heads of their kill and mounting them on the wall um, in terms of the MHC class one, I'm sorry, MHC class two. And so this process is going to result in the antigen presenting cells. Notice the acronym because I might use that acronym on the exam. These antigen presenting cells will then activate this helper T cell. And so this activation, just like the CD8 cell, the cytotoxic T's and the regulatory T's, requires this co-stimulation. Here is my CD4 antigen binding receptor. Okay, so that's going to be recognizing this antigen right here. And then here you can see my MHC class 2 receptors and my T cell receptor which recognizes that MHC class 2. Activation results in clonal expansion. We produce the hundreds of little helper T cells that recognize exactly this antigen, nothing else. 
and then those helper T cells begin to produce and pump out cytokines which communicate with the macrophages and the cytotoxic T cells of our immune, immune system. Additionally, um, some of these produce the memory cells and their job is to hang out and live and kick butt later when they are activated by a second and third infection. Um, we're going to look at the effects that this has on B cells.